phenylogamic plant parasites and physiological disorders so now we will see what will be the probability questions that we can expect for uh, asrbnet 2023 plant pathology so my name is nh shankar reddy i am working as assistant professor in kasar best you so first we will see the section of uh, uh, phenylogamic plant parasites uh, otherwise called as flowering plant parasites so now we will see what are all the different phenylogamic plant parasites are there uh, cascuta loranthus Warabanki and Striga, these are all the important phenylogamic plant parasites. Other other phenylogamic plant parasites also there, but these four are the very important phenylogamic plant parasites or flowering plant parasites. The first one is Cascuta, which belonging to the family Convolvulaceae, Loranthus belonging to the family Loranthaceae, Warabanki belonging to the family Warabanciaceae, Striga belonging to the family Scorfloraceae. So, cascuta generally infects the crops like potato, onion and ornamental crops. So, when it comes to loranthus, loranthus mainly we can observe in mango, especially in fruit trees also uh, and ficus species. When it comes to warabanki, potato, brinjal, tomato, cabbage, cauliflower and sunflower act as a host for warabanki. And the last one is the striga. Striga is otherwise called as which weed. That I will tell you the alternate names. Striga. So tobacco, maize, sorghum, sugarcane, and millets are the hosts infected by striga. So now we will see the other names or alternative names of the phenylogamic plant parasites. So cascuta, as I, as I told you that four other names are there: cascuta, loranthus, warabanki, and striga. So the important things we need to remember here is complete stem parasite, complete stem parasite or whole parasite. So the questions will be like this. Give an example of a complete stem parasite. Complete stem parasite otherwise called as holo stem parasite. Holo stem parasite that is cascuta. So the second one is partial stem parasite or otherwise called as partial stem parasite otherwise called, uh, that is loranthus sorry that is loranthus complete root parasite or holo root parasite that is warabanki partial root parasite that is striga it is a very very important exams they will ask questions like this striga is example of partial root parasite or complete root parasite or stem, uh, stem parasite so i will tell you an order that uh, so that it will be very easy for us to remember class c l o s imagine that imagine if you are a student every day you need to go to class right so like that you remember class c l o s class something like that you remember uh, you just remember and match with complete stem partial stem complete root partial root complete stem partial stem complete root partial root something like that you match with it so here see Complete stem parasite, cascuta C, first one C, loranthus L, com, partial stem parasite, warabanki, complete root parasite, striga, partial root parasite, something like C, L, O, S, and match with the complete stem, partial stem, complete root, and par, partial root will give exact answer. So, the here are the other names, now we will see the other names, cascuta is otherwise called as golden win, doder, helvine, hairweed, lovevine, and amarbel, these are all the various other names of cascuta. So when it comes to dendroptoi, sorry, loranthus, so the other names are dendroptoi, giant mistleto, and banda. These are all the other names. In exams, definitely they will ask other names also sometimes. So for confusing us, they will simply ask broom rape is an example of complete root parasite or complete stem parasite or partial stem parasite, something like that they will ask. So Warbank in example, uh, Warbanki, that is a broom rape or tokra. Other names, striga, otherwise called as witch weed, otherwise called as witch weed. So now we will see in discuss uh, in detail about uh, uh, cascuta. So example of complete stem parasite, we know very well. Cascuta is otherwise called as golden weed. So Doder and Amarbel are the other names which belong to the family Convolvulaceae. And the uh, and cascuta it also involved in the transmission of various other viral diseases. Cascuta, we know very well. Cascuta is a complete stem parasite. And cascuta act as a vector in transmitting of viral diseases. Also that I will tell you what are the viral diseases. Alpha alpha mosaic virus. Citrus Tristiza virus, Tobacco H virus, Tomato Spotted Wilt virus, Tomato Bushy Stunt virus. Of course, these viruses have other vectors also, but Cascuta is also one of the vectors. Coming to the Loranthus, so partial stem parasite, Loranthus, otherwise called as Giant Mislodo, belong to the family Loranthesi, other names are Giant Mislodo, Dendropthoi. 
Lorenthus is also known as Vriksh Baksha. It is a Sanskrit word. Vriksh means plant. Baksha means eater. Vriksh Baksha is a plant, uh, Sanskrit word which means plant eater that belong the term this terminology is belonging to Lorenthus because it slowly eats the plant by producing a hastoria inside the plants and it slowly starts to uh, suck the nutrients. That's why it's called Vriksh Baksha. Vriksh means plant, Baksh means eater. It is a Sanskrit word. Hope uh, if uh, students, somebody are uh, studied in the Sanskrit, you know, at least, you know, like uh, if they know little bit about Sanskrit, so hope uh, they will understand. Vriksh means plant, Baksh means eater. The next one is Varabanki. So Varabanki is popularly known as broom rape. Uh, in English speaking countries, uh, it's like it is also called as Tokra. Uh, in North India, uh, Wakumba in Gujarat and uh, Mambaku in Maharashtra and uh, uh, Pokelakam in uh, Pokelakalam in Tamil Nadu and uh, Buddu or Malay in Andhra Pradesh. So these are all the various other names of Orbanki. So it is an example of a complete root parasite. So belonging to the order Archidales and uh, uh, you know, it also produces a hormone called benzobiron derivatives. It produces a hormone called benzobiron derivatives. That is a stimulating hormone. And Tokra is otherwise known as Varabanki. We know very well that is the other name. And the best method of controlling of Varabanki is application of a herbicide that is glyphosate. Glyphosate entirely destroys this uh, Varabanki seed setting. This is the best example for uh, best example of herbicide uh, that can use it to manage the Varabanki. And what are the trap crops for this Varabanki is the linseed, sorghum, chili and uh, moth bean are the examples. So Varabanki produce shallow cup like aprosorium and snapdragon like flowers. It is a very very important. I have seen this question I think in 2018 uh, uh, maybe first time or second time uh, maybe I'm not sure but I have seen this question. So shallow cup like aprosorium and snapdragon like flowers is produced by which phenyrogamic plant parasite they will ask something like this is Varabanki. Varabankin is example of a complete root parasite and it produces shallow cup like aprosorium and snapdragon like flowers. And this Varabank is also used as food uh, in, 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 you know, like in Italy. So this Varabank is also used as or served as a food in Italy. Coming to the last one, Striga, otherwise called as witch weed. Uh, so actually, uh, suicidal germinations are found in Striga or witch weed. Uh, I think uh, Striga look like a suicidal flower uh, once the insects are maybe uh, other small, small kind of insects are enters, enters into the this Striga. I think it uh, the flower will automatically close or maybe the people will, I mean, uh, sorry, maybe the insect will, uh, some. that's why it's called a suicidal germinations. I don't know maybe what will be the exact reason behind, but the suicidal germinations are actually observed in uh, Striga or witch weed and some uh, you know like species are striga asiaticus uh, it produce pink color flowers this striga asiaticus can be observed in sorghum maize and sugarcane when it comes to striga densifolia it produce white color flowers this can be observed in sorghum and sugarcane crops so the trap crop for this striga is a cotton the english name of striga is which weed which belonging to the family scarfularaceae which belonging to the family scarfularaceae and this plant phenyrogamic plant, plant parasite having a, a capacity that it do not produce any root hairs and it do not produce any root hairs so even though it is a root parasite but it do not produce any root hairs uh, root hairs and it produces a gas that can stimulate the seed germination of a striga seeds the gas is ethylene the gas is ethylene and we have seen uh, four phenyrogamic plant parasite cascuta lorenthus orbank and striga so we got, we need to remember something that uh, Loranthus is otherwise called as Vriksh Baksha uh, and you know like uh, Varabanki, uh, Snapdragon like flowers or Shalokop like Aprosorium. Striga is otherwise called as Witch Weed and it produces a gas called Ethylene and suicidal germinations can be observed in which of the following phenyrogamic plant parasites. Such kind of questions we may expect. Now we will see physiological disorders otherwise called as a non-parasitic disease or abiotic disease or nutritional disorders. So these disorders are maybe due to nutritional imbalance but not caused by any pathogen. So now we will start with the zinc deficiency. So these are all the important disease that is actually caused due to the deficiency of zinc. So rice kaira disease is a very very important one. Rice kaira disease, little leaf of apple, grapes and stone fruits, little leaf of apple, grapes and stone fruits, citrus foliocellosis, 
white bud of maize and white tip of corn yellow stick of maize all are caused by zinc deficiency it is actually produced you know necrotic papri uh, uh, leaves with you know like uh, yellowing of leaves something like that symptoms i am actually not studying because i don't want to confuse you guys but uh, the questions will be like which of the following diseases are zinc deficiency or maybe asking one disease and the asking like you know like uh, uh, rice kara is a deficiency of or citrus foliosil foliosil is a deficiency of something like that they will they will ask okay so here citrus foliosil is otherwise called as little leaf of citrus otherwise called as fringing of citrus otherwise called as motil leaf of citrus okay so the general symptom of all this zinc deficiency is intravenal chlorosis by which the leaves become smaller and more chlorotic especially in citrus okay so these are all the zinc deficiency very very important rice kara disease little leaf of apple grapes and stone fruit citrus foliosilosis white bud of maize or white tip of corn or yellow streak of maize all are caused by zinc deficiency so now we'll see the manganese deficiency pahala bite of sugarcane very very important pahala bite of sugarcane citrus mottling gray speck of oats marsh spot of pea and sugar cane and speckling uh, yellow of sugar beet all are caused by manganese deficiency but when it comes to pahala bite it's a very very important pahala bite is due to manganese deficiency and the next one is the whiptail of cauliflower scald of french bean which is caused by molybdenum deficiency so this whiptail of cauliflower is very 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 important which is caused by molybdenum deficiency the next one is blossom end rot of tomatoes and fruits spongy tissue of mango black heart of celery bitter pit of apple pillowing of cucumbers all are caused by calcium deficiency only it's a very very important 2021 also this question was asked blossom and rot of tomato not only in 2021 in previous year question papers also i have this question i have seen this question repeatedly this blossom and rot of tomato or blossom and rot of fruits or maybe they will ask a blossom and rot of apple something like that for confusing us they will ask all the fruits if it is a blossom and rot it is which is caused by calcium deficiency so the next one is a boron deficiency so toxicness of uh, tobacco dry and uh, hot rot of sugar beet sugar beet internal cork or necrosis of mango cauliflower and apple and cracking of uh, young pomegranate cracking of stem celery white tip panicle of rice browning of uh, browning and hollow stem of cauliflower hen and chicken disease of grapes these are all are caused by boron deficiency i will tell you some two important diseases hen and chicken disease of grapes hen and chicken disease of grapes and toxicness of tobacco these two are caused by boron deficiency and these two are very very important toxicness of tobacco and hen and chicken disease of uh, disorder or disease of grapes so the next one is a red leaf of onion sandron of tobacco spongy tissue of mango bronzing of citrus which is caused by manganese deficiency okay uh, it's a very very important all these diseases are very very important red leaf of cotton sandron of tobacco spongy tissue of mango bronzing of citrus all are caused by magnesium deficiency the next one is black heart of potato red heart of lettuce and cabbage brown heart of apple all are caused by oxygen deficiency oxygen deficiency among this black heart of potato is a very 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 important black heart of potato is otherwise called as hollow heart of potato i think i think so i'm not sure uh, maybe uh, but this question is also repeatedly asked in many exams black heart of potato is caused by oxygen deficiency something like that and the next one is a coconut pencil point so coconut pencil point is a micro micro nutrient deficiency here many micro and micro nutrients are involved so the next one is uh, bluish gray cluster in crop plants is due to phosphorus deficiency and the next one is the rim fire or leaf scorching in plants alfalfa alpha, little spot little spot coconut rust sorry cotton rust all are caused by potassium deficiency next one is the striated head in rice cork of apple water core of apple all are caused by imbalanced water supply or less amount of water supply the next one is black tip of mango which is a boron deficiency and is also uh, uh, caused due to high sulfur dioxide concentration why i wrote near bricklings if the mango orchards are uh, are there near the bricklings we can see a black color scar on the mango so the main reason is one is boron deficiency and the second one is sulfur dioxide concentration if we are you know like mango orchards are near bricklings the bricklings are need to be uh, fired right so, so that only that uh, uh, bricks will be uh, very stiff and strong so during the process of this uh, burning what will happen it also emits a gas called sulfur dioxide 
so due to sulfur dioxide toxicity also the black color scar will appear on the mango that is called black tip of mango two reasons are here one is boron deficiency the next one is sulfur dioxide concentration if there is no bricklings are nearby or uh, that is the reason for boron deficiency application of boron can rectify this disease tomato cat phase which is a low temperature it is also very important disease the next one is uh, frost uh, injury of uh, uh, injury of apple it is also low temperature the next one is uh, tomato sun scald canker of linseed blossom and rot of citrus sun scald of fruits and vegetables greening of potato all are high temperature are exposing to sunlight so red leaf of cotton or chlorosis of rice i think uh, this question was asked red leaf of cotton was important one and buttoning of cauliflower which is caused by nitrogen deficiency or nitrogen imbalance or maybe extra application of nitrogen and the next one is aloe hot of potato which is caused by extra excess nitrogen deficiency yes uh, i told you before that uh, 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 you know like uh, uh, black rot of cap is not, not black rot of cap is we have seen that uh, one disease before regarding oxygen deficiency that is uh, uh, blackening of tobacco or maybe the skin become very black in color due to oxygen deficiency i told that name is it is also called as aloe hot but it's not i think so so aloe hot of potato is excess nitrogen deficiency so the next one is citrus exanthema or dieback reclamation of votes or peer exanthema which is caused by the deficiency of copper which is caused by the deficiency of copper citrus exanthema or dieback is deficiency of copper the next one is the dwarfing and yellowing of cotton which is due to sulfur toxicity or sulfur dioxide uh, imbalance or maybe extra application the next one is the internal brown spot of potato which is a moisture deficiency and uh, green netting of uh, citrus i have seen this question before it's a very important also uh, green netting of citrus is a iron deficiency iron deficiency so when we see some other symptoms caused by air pollutants so far we have seen these deficiency symptoms and few diseases which is also caused by air pollution so now we will see what are all the air pollution are there so sulfur dioxide so sulfur dioxide if the sulfur dioxide is uh, 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 in between 0.3 to 0.5 ppm we can see different kinds of diseases that is susceptible host like alpha alpha violet conifers peas cotton and beans we can see the symptoms or we can observe the symptoms we can also observe the symptoms in mango also so the maximum concentration is 0.3 to 0.5 ppm parts per million so nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide is 2 to 3 ppm parts per million and we can observe the susceptible hosts are bean and tomatoes so hydrogen fluoride it's a very 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 dangerous one and it is the most dangerous air pollutant so hydrogen fluoride the susceptible crops are corn peach and tulip the toxicity is at 0.1 to 0.2 ppb parts per billion okay that's why it is the most toxic so chlorine or hydrogen uh, chloride which is the toxic at 0.11 ppm 0.1 ppm many kinds of plants can be susceptible coming to the ozone ozone is also one of the dangerous uh, air pollutant that can uh, you know toxicity is at 0.1 to 0.3 ppm and the susceptible hosts are tobacco bean cereals alfalfa petuna pine citrus and corn uh, when it comes to the pan peroxyacyl nitrate which is a very toxic and the toxicity ranges for i mean uh, the it is toxic at 0.01 to 0.02 ppm and the disease which causes is silver leaf of tomato it's a very 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 important diseases so why it is called silver leaf the infected tomato plants the leaf surface can observe i mean we can observe the leaf surface can be like a silver coating silver coating like sub, uh, absence can be seen silver coating like uh, uh, thing can be seen that is the due to peroxyacyl nitrate toxicity so spinach petuna tomato lettuce and dahlia are the susceptible host but this disease is very very important silver leaf of tomato is caused by or silver leaf of tomato is due to pan deficiency or peroxyacyl nitrate sorry not deficiency that is air pollutant right so the last one is the ethylene ethylene ch2 ch2 that is uh, uh, which is uh, actually uh, many kinds of plants are susceptible and it is toxic at 0.05 ppm hope uh, uh, this information will be useful if there is any doubts uh, please let us come to know or you can also comment below in the comment section stay geeky stay tuned we are team geeky researchers